<laughs> oh, you're ready? OK. Thank you. We don't have many guarantees in life, but I'm willing to make you one right now. So listen up. In my career as a salesman and as a manager, I have learned three valuable lessons. And they've always stood me well. They've always worked for me, and they will work for you. If you'll listen and if you'll learn from these lessons and you apply them to your career, I will guarantee to you that you will at least double, in fact, sometimes triple your sales production. And you'll do it in less time. Do I have your attention? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Here are the three lessons. Stop selling, shut up, and listen. Sales is filled with paradoxes. Sales is filled with contradictions. One of the biggest contradictions in sales is that you need to get out there and you need to talk to the customer. You need to get out there and you need to sell hard. You need to tell the customer everything the customer needs to know about your product, the features and the benefits. You need to make appointments. You need to get out, see as many customers as possible, talk to those customers, and convince them that they need to buy your product. Nothing could be further from the truth. This is one of those paradoxes. The customers, when you arrive, are waiting for you. They're loaded for bear. They know that you're going to arrive, that your job is to convince them to buy this product or this service. They've decided in advance, well, I'm not going to succumb. This guy is not going to sweet talk me. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to resist. I'm going to fight. I'm not going to buy his product. He's not going to get me to sign anything today. The customers, in many cases, have gone to the same classes that most salespeople have gone to. They're all set. They're in opposition to the salesperson. Well, sales, to be effective, needs to be a win-win scenario. If I do my job correctly, if I do my job correctly, you buy something from me and you feel that it's a bargain and I make a profit on it. It becomes a win-win scenario. We are not in opposition. We are working together for our mutual success. So I encourage you to reverse the story. Do something different. Stop selling. Build a relationship with your customer first. Number one, before you talk about anything. If you don't have that relationship established, nothing else will occur. We're going to move on to lesson number two now. By the way, these lessons are taken from my recently published book, Precision Selling, 21 Winning Strategies to Achieve Peak Performance. The book is available on Amazon. You can also get it on my website, www.connexiagroup.com, C-O-N-N-E-X-I-A-G-R-O-U-P.com. I encourage you to pick up a copy. In that book, you will learn the other 18 lessons. We're only covering three this morning. All right, and the second lesson let's talk about. This one is another one that looks like it's very obvious, but it's not. Second lesson, shut up. Shut up. All salespeople talk way too much. They go blah, 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 blah. They talk way too much. You walk in, and you're going to have a conversation with somebody you ask a question and you pause in silence and you invite them to speak to you. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. If you are silent, you will invite other people to talk. If you are a salesperson and you expect to sell something, your position of power is to be silent and to listen. You will learn everything that you need to know about your client or your customer if you are silent and you invite them to reach toward you. They are reaching. You will learn everything that you need to know about that person and about that company. You will learn an amazing number of things. So what does this mean? Well, it means in sales, be very aware of the fact that there is a time for silence and there is a time for a pause. And what you do in that pause is you are waiting for feedback from your prospective customer. Let's move on to lesson number three. And I saved this for the last because 
This one is kind of dependent upon the other two. Lesson number three is listen. Now that you've stopped selling, now that you've shut up, you're in a position to listen. I'm convinced that one of the most difficult things that we have to do as human beings is to learn how to listen. And as a salesperson, your success is absolutely critically tied to your ability to listen. Failure to listen will lose you deal after deal after deal. Eighty percent of you here, that's four out of five, when asked to stand in front of an audience and deliver a presentation or give a speech, will fail to connect with your audience. You'll actually lose your audience in the first 30 seconds, and you won't even realize why. Most of us here have a remote control for our television. I know I have about six or seven of them lying around. I'm told that there's a universal remote that will control everything, but I have three universal remotes and they're controlling nothing. But most of us have a remote control. With this little remote control, I can zap through 800 channels in about 30 seconds. Click, 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 click. About three or four seconds per channel I'm clicking through. The average internet user, internet user when they pull up the internet, they're spending six seconds Per page. Cell phone users. Cell phone users can go through instant messaging, bang, 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 bang. You can go through 50 or 60 instant messages in about two minutes. If you're really adept, the, the modern generation, not me, if you're really adept with your thumb, you can text message people. And those things are going off every two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. What's the point? The point is we are living in the instant messaging generation. Information comes at us so fast. We have to make instantaneous decisions about what we're going to absorb and what we're going to listen to. Now, in this environment, if you are standing in front of an audience and you need to deliver a message, you've only got 30 seconds to get that message across before the audience is going to lose their attention. You need to get right to the point. You need to get a compelling message, reach out and grab that audience. After all, that audience is used to flipping through channels. You don't want them to hit the remote and go click and erase you. So get to your point. You've got 30 seconds to make your point and then move on. <laughs>